Thank you so much for joining us today. This is How to Generate High Quality Leads with LinkedIn. Uh, we also um, have another name for this webinar. It's called How LinkedIn Can Generate More Business for You. I don't think there's any business around that can't use more business. And I'm glad you joined us today so that you can learn how LinkedIn can help you generate more business. I just want to share a few fast facts with you before we get things underway. Uh, right now, there are over 400 million members on LinkedIn. In fact, over a million people are joining LinkedIn every week. LinkedIn recently got acquired by Microsoft. I'll be referring to that a few times during the course of this event. There are two million groups currently on LinkedIn. There are over uh, 500, all 500 of the Fortune 500 companies, the top country, companies are uh, using LinkedIn. There are four million companies that have business pages on LinkedIn as well. So that's how we'll get things underway. My name is Ken Countess, and I am Managing Director of the Countess Group. We are a marketing firm based in the Orlando area. Uh, we help companies gain an unfair advantage over their competition. We are a full-service marketing consultancy. We can help you with strategic marketing and communications, email, social media, websites, search engine optimization, just about anything you need is available to you through the Countess Group. We help businesses gain an unfair advantage over their competition with targeted marketing campaigns. And what that means is we don't work with clients using a spray and pray marketing technique, but rather we help you zero in on the audience, the people that will be most inclined to buy your products and services. Uh, here's my contact information. Uh, you can reach out to us by email and phone, of course. We're very active on these seven social media channels as well. Uh, I would encourage you to follow us on as many of those channels as you actively use yourself. And please visit our website at thecountessgroup.com. My name is Ken Countess. I'm an internationally recognized marketing expert. I spent over 20 years of my corporate life at Motorola also at CVS, uh, Marriott, a company now owned by Honeywell, and I'm also still uh, an equity partner in a company called Ascend Marketing. And uh, clients we have served over the last 17 years that we've been in business as the Countess Group include names such as these. You probably recognize at least a couple of them. But also we work with hundreds of small to medium-sized businesses and nonprofits probably just like yours, probably just like mine. I like to say that we play 70 hours a week at the Countess Group. Play is code for work. When you are passionate about your business and about helping your clients, the work really feels much more like play. So I hope you'll engage with us. I hope at a minimum you'll engage with me on LinkedIn. That's my LinkedIn page. It's linkedin.com slash in slash Ken Countess. Uh, there are over 4,000 people following me there right now. Uh, we've got a couple of gifts for you today, so be sure you stick around all the way through to the end. We've got some offers that you won't want to miss. All right, so let's jump into it. I'm going to talk about nine success factors, nine things that you really need to know in order to take the greatest advantage of LinkedIn. A quick summary of them, the big nine. They include the importance of your profile, ramping up your network activity, growing your network, then monitoring your network's activity, publishing on LinkedIn. The proverbial and always asked question, should I go premium or is free enough? We'll talk about who viewed your profile, how to search for high quality leads, and then leveraging all of this information to really help you grow your business. So let's jump right into it with step one, and that's about your profile. Your profile is critical to your success on LinkedIn. You need to write your profile in story form. No longer is LinkedIn a place where you simply upload your resume. It, that's just not the way you do it anymore. You've got to write your profile in story form. It really will help further engage readers because you're being checked out. 
And your LinkedIn profile does have to be different from your professional resume. I'm going to encourage you to look at your profile frequently, keep it up to date, keep it fresh. Here's a question for you. I'd like to know if you've attended one of my webinars or seminars in the past. Go ahead and take a moment and uh, go ahead and let me know if you've joined us for one of our webinars in the past or joined us for one of our live events. I just click yes or no and it's certainly possible that you're not sure. Okay, to show you how this works, here's what those of you who are joining us live today uh, said. It looks like uh, just under 60% have joined us for one of our events in the past, and uh, just over 40% say no, it's the first time you're joining us. I'd like to thank you, whether you've joined us in the past or if it's for the first time, thank you for taking time out of your day to be with us today. So following up a little bit more about your profile, adding a professional photo to your profile makes you 14% more likely to be found. Uh, and that's not just from me. I mean, that is uh, data from LinkedIn themselves. So uh, knowing that adding a photo makes you much more likely to be found, make sure that's a professional photo, not just some casual photo where it's obvious that someone's been edited out or cropped out use a professional photo when you're doing your LinkedIn profile or when you're updating it. Let me ask you this question as well. How would you rate your level of experience with LinkedIn? Are you a complete newbie? Are you a beginner only checking it occasionally? Are you an intermediate user maybe checking it two to three times a week? Or are you an advanced user? You live on LinkedIn. Let me know. What that's going to do is help us gauge how to move uh, this webinar along. Okay, and uh, thank you for that input. I'm delighted to see that many of you uh, already use LinkedIn and uh, seem to use it fairly uh, successfully. So let's think now about a profile and what should your profile look like. Uh, your profile is critical to your success on LinkedIn. Uh, what you can see here is a recent screenshot of my front page um, where I am listed as an internationally recognized marketing consultant, a professional speaker, a LinkedIn expert with a phone number included. You want to make it easy for people to see who you are, find out more about you. LinkedIn is a search engine. People are looking for people to do business with. People do business with people. So make it easy for people to learn who you are and what you're great at because LinkedIn is one of the biggest search engines out there. Over 5 billion searches are done on LinkedIn every year. So your profile and having a complete profile is critically important to your success. Step number two, once you've got that profile done, how do you ramp up? How do you ramp up your network activity? Well, there are a few ways to do that. The first is write recommendations for people. When you write a recommendation for, for someone, uh, they are more than likely to reciprocate. And so that will help you in turn to build up your profile as well. Endorse your contacts. Use LinkedIn Mobile. If you haven't downloaded LinkedIn Mobile yet, uh, it's available on Android and on the iPhone. Uh, you need to do that. Here's what a LinkedIn mobile app looks like. This is a picture of uh, LinkedIn as it appears on an Android device. And uh, what I have circled here are alerts. And what LinkedIn's mobile app does, it does a fantastic job of letting you know about activity going on uh, within your network. So in this example, you'll see that people have endorsed me, they've viewed my profile, they've published posts. It's a, a very easy way for you to keep up to date on what's going on within your network, no matter what your level of experience. Uh, it's another way also to stay connected. So what you're looking at here is that someone has endorsed me for a few skills. LinkedIn makes it very, very simple for you to say thank you to people who have endorsed you. Uh, it makes it easy for you to congratulate someone 
who may have moved up the food chain on a new job. By the way, you may hear lightning and thunder going, or you may hear thunder going on in the background. Uh, I'm in the Orlando area, and as we're doing this uh, webinar live, there's a big storm going out right, uh, right outside the windows. Uh, another poll question for you. Uh, let me know, what's your biggest marketing challenge? Is your biggest marketing challenge generating leads or growing your list? Is it attracting and retaining quality clients? Or is it closing a deal? Think about that for a moment. And let me know what your biggest challenge is. OK, let me share the results with you, because uh, it, it's, it's pretty interesting to see how, um, how people are uh, reacting to this particular question. For many people, their biggest challenge is generating leads and growing their list. And about a third of you said attracting and retaining quality clients. Well, you're in the right place, because we're going to uh, help you understand how to do both, grow your list, and how to attract uh, quality clients and grow your business that way. So that takes us into step three, which is growing your business. Growing your list, growing your network. So how do you do that? Well, invite everybody in your contact list to join your LinkedIn network. Everybody. Family, friends, coworkers, colleagues. Take advantage of LinkedIn's people you may know feature. They typically will show coworkers, fellow alumni, and friends that were not in your original list. There's a great tool out there, a free tool called Reportive. And Reportive enables you to see within your email client, whether that's Gmail or Outlook or something else, that'll allow you to see who in your network is on LinkedIn. And also, take a look around LinkedIn, find more people who are like you, because they probably know people who would be good clients for you or good prospects. How else can you grow your network? Invite your family, your relatives, and friends. And you may say, why would I invite my family and relatives and my friends? There may be people in their networks who could be good clients for you. Invite your business contacts. Invite those with whom you've worked in the past. Invite current and past clients. And also find those who work in your industry as well. And step four, monitor your network. See what's going on. Regularly monitor your network's activity. And uh, by the way, this is a very, very brief overview on LinkedIn. We hold all-day classes and three-day workshops that go through LinkedIn, where you will log into your own LinkedIn account and we'll guide you step by step on how to monetize your LinkedIn presence, how to generate more business. So let's talk now about regularly monitoring your network's activity. What do I mean by that? Well, if you log into LinkedIn on a fairly regular basis, you'll see that people are changing their work status. Get in there and congratulate them. When they post or when they publish, like and comment and share their posts. Market yourself to them. If someone has checked out your profile, and I'll talk about that in a few moments, market yourself to them. Thank them for viewing your profile and see if there's some way that you might be able to help them grow their business. Here's another screenshot from the LinkedIn mobile app. Uh, these are messages that came in. And in this screenshot, you'll see uh, that I'm obviously very active on LinkedIn myself. I'm one of the LinkedIn pioneers. Uh, they have 400 million members, as I mentioned, and my member number is well under 1 million. I've been using it a long time. Why? Because these are people that can be great clients for you. And business today is so much about relationships. So stay in touch with people within your network. Here's another way to do it. Step five is publishing. This is something LinkedIn introduced about a year ago, where you can publish articles on LinkedIn. And once you do that, take a look at the views and likes. See who liked your 
articles. Thank them for liking your articles. Then get out there and promote your LinkedIn publications. Use email marketing. I will touch on that in a few minutes. When you couple LinkedIn with your email campaign, you are bound to grow your business, ground, get bound to grow your prospects. Business today is all about relationships. So do some writing on LinkedIn. The articles don't have to be very long. And then promote them. You're promoting yourself and your business. In an email campaign, on your other LinkedIn, or rather other social media networks, Facebook, Twitter, and so on. Promote your publications on your blog and on your website. Most of all, keep it fresh. Don't just do it every once in a while, but keep it going. Here's a screenshot of our publications. At, this time, at the time that this screenshot was taken, we had published 28 articles. And as you can see, um, they span a variety of subjects all related to marketing. Uh, we use some uh, eye-catching graphics to attract people's attention. It's a great way to keep your visibility going, extend your exposure, generate more leads for you. That takes me to step number six, which gets to the question of should I get a paid version of LinkedIn or am I okay with free? This is obviously a personal decision. For most people, the free version is okay. It does everything you need it to do. You might, though, consider premium. Here's one of the main differences. When you have the free version of LinkedIn, when you check to see who has viewed your profile, the free version only gives you three days worth of the most recent activity, where in the premium version, even the most basic one, you can reach back 90 days to see who checked out your profile. It also helps with your searchability. If you're using a premium version of LinkedIn, people can see more about you and your business. Let me spend another couple of minutes on free versus premium. Here's an example of who's viewed your profile on the free version. You can only see the last five people who viewed your profile. And while they may be good prospects for you, if you don't check your who's viewed your profile activity on a fairly regular basis, you may miss out on some pretty valuable leads. The premium version, on the other hand, gives you a full 90-day list of viewers and really rich data insights like the keywords that led people to your profile. Here's another way that it helps a lot. Using basic filters, the free version just gives you limited results when you're doing a search. You can use a couple of keywords, type in first name and last name, a title, but when you have the premium version, it really opens things up for you because you can check people by function, years of experience, by location, by company size. Those are just two of the many ways that LinkedIn can really help you with a premium version. The premium version starts at about $30 a month. And if you think about it, if you could get one good lead using LinkedIn Premium, and it costs you $30 to get a lead, but the average sale that you might make is in the hundreds or thousands of dollars, it's probably worth your time. In the full day and three day versions of our workshops, we teach you step by step how to not only be found, but what happens when people find you. Let's talk about step seven, views, and specifically, who's viewed your profile? I would recommend that you take a look at who viewed your profile every day. Check the analytics. Look at the data. If fewer and fewer people are checking out your profile, be more active. Take a look at people's profiles, the people that are viewing you. Why do I say that? It's because if you check out their profiles in return, they will know that, and that gives you an opportunity to cultivate a relationship with them. Send a note to them. Stay in touch with them. 
These are hot leads for you. You should take advantage of them. And as I mentioned in the premium version, you'll have an opportunity to see graphically who has viewed your profile, how often, how frequently, how many, what the number of profile views is, whether it's up or down from the previous week. This is really important data for you. It'll help you gauge how much, you, how much more you need to do in marketing your business and market yourself on LinkedIn. Step number eight is the hunt. Let's get in and figure out, now that we know that we're being searched out on LinkedIn, how do we take advantage of that? When you're looking for high quality leads, take advantage of these two facts. As I mentioned earlier, there are over two million groups on LinkedIn. It used to be that you were limited to membership in only 50 groups. Now you can join 100 groups. So take a look at groups that may be companies that you currently work at, companies you used to work at. How about the college or university you attended? There are many, many different ways that you can participate in groups that are within your industry, within your educational sphere, geographically, and so on. And as far as companies go, 4 million companies, as I mentioned, have company pages. Create and use your company page to gain a following. You can post your articles there. Make sure that there's a link to LinkedIn on your website. And as, as I mentioned before, keep it fresh. You don't want to get stagnant. When you go to the groups page on LinkedIn, you'll see what your most active groups are. If you look at the lower right-hand corner of the screen, you can see when this screenshot was taken that there were a couple of hundred new conversations on a couple of those groups. And uh, you can then go and check in and see who is most active within your groups and make sure that you create a relationship with them because they most often are influencers. And on top of that, the benefit to you is that if you post on groups, you will get, an, on average, four times as many profile views as someone who never posts in the groups. So it's very worthwhile to participate in the groups and with the company pages. LinkedIn has made it easy to get more followers. You can drive people to your company page so that they stay updated on your products and your services. Have you added a new product or service? Make sure people know about it on LinkedIn. And then dig in. Dig into this data. Are there companies that you would like to target? Here's an example of how you might use LinkedIn to easily find targets. In this example, uh, I'm going to type in, I, I want to learn, for example, how many companies, mid-sized software companies there are with employees in the Orlando area. If that's where you do most of your business, uh, that may be something you're interested in. So I've refined my search to companies in the Orlando area. And as I mentioned, I'm looking for mid-sized software companies. And mid-sized, I personally have defined as between 51 and 200 people. And this is what came up in the search, 16 results. And out of those results, as you can see in the graphic, there are 12 people in my network at one of the companies, 11 in another, and 16 in yet another. So if I'm looking to do business with a software company in this area, LinkedIn is a great place to find quality leads. And here's another example. Let's say, for instance, that I am looking to do business with people in construction at Disney. Disney, of course, has a big presence in the Orlando area. So I put in a zip code near where Disney is, and I said, give me all LinkedIn members who are in construction at Disney in the Orlando area. And here's what the outcome was, 182 results. What that enables me to do now is go in there and see who might be able to assist me uh, doing business at Disney. That's step eight. Let's talk about step number nine. Now we're going to leverage that information. 
let me show you how you can take advantage of that information. First of all, a quick question for you. Raise your hand if you know what the number one cell phone app is. And if you raise your hand, then go ahead and type in your answer. What is the number one cell phone app? Go ahead and answer that question in the chat box. Ah, some of you got it right. The answer is email. Absolutely email. And uh, someone's asked if we're going to dive into the uh, new uh, format for LinkedIn. The answer is yes, we absolutely are going to do that. I want to let you know that 91% of people check email every day. Email is the number one application on smartphones. We're checking our email every single day. We can't seem to live without it. And so knowing that we're checking email every day, more than half of us check our email on a smartphone every day. We open our email on a smartphone. I'm going to show you how you can use LinkedIn and email together to energize your sales. 77% of consumers prefer to be marketed to via email marketing. In fact, the return on investment using email is over 44 to 1. That means for every dollar you spend on email, you can expect $44 in return. That's pretty awesome. Here's a uh, case study of one of our clients who didn't use email marketing for quite a long time. They were in the promotional specialties business, and when we first met, uh, their sales were flat from year to year. $50,000 in sales a year, year after year. They started using email and they added a quarter million dollars in sales in just six months. Last year, they wound up with a million dollars in sales, only using email. And they know how to couple it with LinkedIn as well. For this client, the return on investment for email is over 800 to 1. Now, we're going to jump in and and show you a live demo uh, on LinkedIn here in just a moment. I mentioned that there would be uh, several offers uh, at the uh, tail end of this webinar. I'm going to introduce one of them to you right now. This is an exclusive offer for people who attend our events this year. You can get three months of email marketing for only $5 a month for your first three months. That's more than 75% off the standard price. If you go to that URL, bit.ly slash five dash dollar dash offer, you'll be able to take advantage of that great deal. So if you're not already using email marketing, I really would encourage you to do it. I'll place a link in the chat box for you right there. So you can check on that at any time during the course of this event. Uh, you can also access it on your cell phone. Here's what the screens look like. And uh, we just try to make it very easy for you. If you're already using email marketing, we have an offer for you as well. You may want to reach out to me after this webinar. Uh, you can get a free autoresponder welcome series if you upgrade to Email Plus. Uh, so there you go. If you upgrade, you get free autoresponders. And if you buy it today with a new account, it's just $5 a month. Plus, we'll give you a free reusable mobile responsive template and free training to help you get started. So let's uh, just summarize uh, the PowerPoint on LinkedIn. 91% of us are checking email every day and more than 70% of us prefer to be marketed to via email. Email's ROI is over 44 to 1 and you need to combine email with LinkedIn to really energize your sales. As far as the success factors, 400 million people are on LinkedIn. They're looking for you. There are over 5 billion searches done annually on 2 million groups and 4 million company pages. Combine email with LinkedIn to get maximum results. As I mentioned a couple of times, uh, we have all-day sessions and half-day sessions uh, there's information. Uh, make sure you've downloaded the handouts for this workshop so you can take advantage of these offers. Um, there's a three-day boot camp being held in July. It's in Orlando. 
you can save 25% off the standard price of the boot camp with promo code SAVE500. Uh, that promo code is, is available for less than a week more. Uh, in the boot camp, we talk about no more spray and pray marketing. We help you learn best practices to effectively generate leads and engage and retain more clients. All right, so what I'd like to do now is switch and uh, take it into LinkedIn. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, pull up the browser page and uh, switch over to that screen. So just bear, me, bear with me for just a moment. Okay, we're going to switch to the other screen so that you'll be able to see exactly how uh, LinkedIn can work for you. There we go. You're looking at my live screen right now. Uh, let me just make a couple of adjustments to it so you don't get distracted by the other extraneous uh, items. Uh, by the way, feel free to ask questions. Uh, we have the chat box open, and if I don't get to your question between now and the end of the session, be sure that you uh, shoot me an email or send me a note, and uh, we'll get your questions answered. So this is uh, the home page on LinkedIn. This is my home page, and as you can see, they really upgraded it in a very, very big way. So now uh, you can actually preview or view uh, videos. Um, let's move over to the network. The network, as I've mentioned earlier, is so critical. By the way, if you uh, don't yet follow me on LinkedIn, please do so. Uh, send an invitation to me from your account. You saw my um, LinkedIn name is Ken Countess. I'm sure I'm the only one there. So go ahead and send me an invitation. If you've attended today's webinar live, I'll be happy to uh, accept your invitation. You can see I have a few people that have already sent me an invitation, and um, I'm happy to accept the invitations of people who attend my events. Uh, so this is a place where you can stay up to date on your network, and uh, do take advantage of that. If you are looking for a job, or if you have a job to post, go to the jobs menu at the top, and here are jobs where you've either been an applicant, or LinkedIn will look at your profile and determine which jobs may be of interest to you. Because LinkedIn is a search engine and because LinkedIn looks at your profile, LinkedIn will come up with recommendations on how you might be a good fit for certain kinds of jobs. Uh, in the messaging area, this is a place where you can write a message to someone, you can attach files, you can attach images. Um, I use something also called Sales Navigator. I'd be happy to talk to anybody about that as well. Uh, that's a relatively new feature on LinkedIn where it will enable you to see um, people that may be of interest to you and you'll also be able to check on their company in much, much greater detail uh, than you ever were able to do before. When you go over to the Notifications tab, you saw the mobile version of that. I showed you a couple of screen shares on the mobile app. Here are a couple of examples of people that may be celebrating something or maybe they like to post. You can take a look at who's viewed your post as well. So in this example, we had 42 views on the most recent post we have out there, which is the 16 best content marketing Twitter accounts to follow. And as you could see, there were 42 views. There were four people who have the title salesperson. And my biggest audience, not too terribly surprisingly, uh, is in the Orlando area. Uh, and it says along with people from greater Atlanta and the Miami Fort Lauderdale area as well. In this area, you have many, many ways that you can uh, change your profile. You can change your settings increase or reduce the privacy within your account. Uh, you can view your profile as it appears to other people. 
And here you can see the most up-to-date version of my profile, and you'll see that 188 people have viewed my profile in the last 90 days. And there have been 42 views of my most recent post. You just saw that. Now we can go ahead and easily edit. So I can go in here and change the headline, my current position, where I went to school, and so on. They've made it far easier. If you would like more detail on how to get the most out of your email, or uh, rather out of your LinkedIn profile, please reach out to me after this webinar and uh, we'll be able to set up some time so that you'd be able to get much more out of your LinkedIn activity. LinkedIn is so incredibly powerful. I really urge you, urge you to take advantage of that. Uh, I have a question for you now, and that question is uh, in the form of another poll, and that question is, would it be worth 15 minutes of your time if I could show you how to attract more clients and generate more revenue? This is a freebie, uh, no obligation. You'll have an opportunity to uh, gain some knowledge on how you can get far more out of your efforts, how to get far more out of your campaigns. So if you're interested in getting a free 15-minute consultation, just go ahead and click the Yes button, and uh, we'd be happy to go ahead and set that up for you. The other question I have for you is, uh, would you like more information about the Gain an Unfair Advantage Marketing Boot Camp in Orlando from July 12th to the 14th? Uh, just click yes or no, or if you're not sure, please contact me. That's okay, too. By the way, be sure that you download the handouts because they have a lot of the information that you'd be looking for in order to help you learn more about the boot camp, but I'd be happy to answer any questions for you. So what comes next? Well, we're offering you a free review of your LinkedIn personal page and give you some personal coaching. Uh, that includes some recommendations of what you might add and delete from your profile. Uh, if you'd like that uh, LinkedIn personal page uh, review, uh, it's a short review. If you like something more detailed, we can arrange that as well. Uh, but this would be coupled with a free 15-minute consultation you would go to bit.ly slash meet dash with dash Ken. Uh, that link is already in the chat box, so if you, um, you, you can go ahead and schedule that right on my calendar and do it at a time that's convenient for you. Uh, I just placed it in the chat box one more time. So once again, if you'd like to contact me for a free 15-minute consultation, we'd be happy to uh, honor that. If you've already had one of those consultations, uh, go ahead. You can go ahead and schedule something as well. Uh, here's our contact information. If you'd like to reach out to us by phone or via email, I encourage you to uh, send me a LinkedIn invitation. Go to our website for sure and uh, learn more about the Countess Group. What we do is we help you gain an unfair advantage over your competition. I want to thank everybody for joining me today. It's uh, been a delight having you with us. If you are watching us on a uh, replay, uh, thank you for watching all the way to the end. We look forward to having an opportunity to help you grow your business as well. Have a great day, everybody.